learn to be objective with your art today on Make It Artsy. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and objects have a role in each of today's artists and projects. Now, Joseph Cornell is known as a pioneer of assemblage. He was also a filmmaker. And shadow boxes were a key design element for him. And one of the things he used to do is he would take all these found objects. A lot of them were um, taxidermied birds. And he would juxtapose things because really he was a surrealist and he liked the humor and the stories behind putting things together that you wouldn't normally see. Now, my found objects that I have for myself tend to be things from my studio. So I created this little shadow box, which doesn't look like Cornell's work at, at all. It looks like my work. And this is just a simple shadow box that opens. And you can see I have a bunch of elements inside. I have some stamped images. There's anything from a twig that I found outside. And it's all telling a story in here. So what I've gathered, you can see, are some things from my studio. And all I'm gonna do is into my shadow box, pop in a piece of book paper, maybe add a little painted canvas strip I had left over. This is a rock I found on the beach and painted with watercolor. Um, I have some leftover pieces always from projects that I can play around with and see how they look. I have some, a shrink plastic element. These are polymer clay pieces that I thought were kind of pretty. They didn't work for what I was actually doing at the time. Um, I made some canvas beads at some point, which again, didn't always work out. This is why I don't throw anything away because sometimes it just doesn't work out. But I'm just looking at this as I'm putting together this composition and I'm thinking about what am I saying? What am I doing? What is the story behind this? And what's sort of the humor or anything like that? Even things like, you know, watercolor tags, you want to do lots of layering in there. This is just a spool of fabric, but you know, or a string in there. And you sort of glue this all down, close it up. You can even put a little element on the outside to make sure that the box has dimension and you're done. So take some inspiration from Cornell, look around your studio or your home, find some objects and create an assemblage.